Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to see the new topic that is the linear equations in one variable. So we will see the part one of it. So now you know the variables, now suppose I write here 2x. So which is the variable over here? So here suppose 2x plus y. So we have here, this is this x and y, these are the variables. But here, we are not going to see this part, only we are going to see one variable. So whatever this, this is called a variable and this is called the coefficient. So they said here that linear equation in one variable. So we are just going to see one variable. So now here, the linear equations in one variable, what is that? You should know is an equation which is expressed in the form of ax plus b is equal to 0. So what are these a, a and b? They are the two integers. This one, this, the other integers. And here, this x is a variable. And it has only one solution. So suppose we are writing here 2x plus 3 is equal to 8. So can you see there is only one variable over here? So we can say here, this is a linear equation having a single variable in it. So in a linear equation, again, we can what we can say? Can you see this x uh, here, there is 1. So the highest power here is always going to be 1. So whenever we have, if it is 2 here, this is not a linear equation. So the highest power should always be 1 in a linear equation. So here it said, in a linear equation, the highest power of the variable is 1. So now let us see the endings 8.1. So here they said, solve the following equations and then you have to verify the answer. So here, 3x plus 1 is equal to 10. So here what it is, this is 3x. We'll, we'll write on this, this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side because this is equal to is in between both of them. So this we can call as left hand side and this is the right hand side. So now what we can do here, we'll see this with the variable, we'll keep on the left hand side and the constant which is without a variable, we will take it on the right hand side. So now see here this 3x will be as it is. This 10 is on the right hand side itself because this is equal to. This plus 1 if it goes on the other side that is going to be minus 1. So now let me write here first. Left hand side and the right hand side. If it is plus when it goes to the right hand side it will be minus. If it is minus it is going to be plus. If it is multiplication that is going to be division. And if it is division on the left hand side, it is going to be multiplication. So these things you have to remember. These four things you have to remember. If plus, then if it changes the side, it will be minus. Minus becomes plus. Multiplication becomes division. And division becomes multiplication. So now, because this is plus 1, so it becomes minus 1. So 3x is going to be, this is 9. So actually 3x means there is a multiplication sign over here. So x is going to be this 9. So this is going to get divided. So as I told you, multiplication becomes divide. So here this will be 3 1s are and 3 3s are. So x is 3. So we got the value of x is 3. Now we have to verify. So for verifying, how are you going to do? We will take the left hand side first. So LHS is 3x plus 1. So in place of this x, we are just going to put this 3 because we have got the value of x is 3. So now what will you get here? 3 3s are 9 plus 1. That is going to be 10. And what is this 10? 10 is nothing, this is but RHS. So we can say that is RHS. So now what you can say? That LHS is equal to RHS. So it is verified. Now look at the next problem. Here 2x. This is 15 and minus 45 is going to be plus 45. So 2x is 60. So x is going to be 60. This is multiplication. So this is going to get divided. That is going to be 30. So x is 30. So now let us take the left hand side. So in place of this x, we are going to put 30. So when we solve this 160 minus 45, that is going to be 15 and which is the right hand side. So LHS is equal to RHS, that is verified. Now here, this 2 will, A will be as it is, this will be as it is. Sorry, there are two equal signs here. So now, if this goes on the right hand side, this because this is minus, it becomes plus 10. So 2a is going to be 
this plus 10 minus 8 that is going to be 2 so a is going to be 2 divided by 2 so this is going to be 1 so a is 1 so now let us take the left hand side so in place of a we will put here 1 so this will be 2 minus 10 so minus 10 plus 2 so that is going to be minus 8 so this is the right hand side so this is the right hand side so LHS is equal to RHS so that it is verified Now let us see the next one. Here, see here, this is 0 0.5, so 0 0.25 into 2. When you multiply this one, this will be 0 0.50 and 0 0.5, both is the same. Here, it is going to be minus 2 plus 1.5 is equal to 8. So now what are you going to do? You are going to bring the like terms together. So this is brought together. And this 8 as it is, minus 2 goes on the other side. So it becomes plus 2. So when you add this both, 0 0.5 plus 1.5 you get 2.0 that is 2 so 2y is 10 so y will be 10 divided by 2 so y is going to be 5 now you are going to put this 5 in this take the left hand side first in place of y you are going to put 5 so now 2 as it is your 5 your 5 so when you multiply this into this that will be 0 0.25 into 5 so that will be 1.25 minus 1 and this will be 15 5 is 75 but there is a decimal so it is going to be 7.5 so now when you subtract this 1.25 and this is 1 1 means 1 1.0 so what will be that that is going to be 0 0.25 so hope this is clear plus uh, 7.5 so again when you multiply this and this it is going to be 0 0.50 that is 0 0.5 plus 7.5 so 0 0.5 plus 7.5 and that is 8.0 that will be 8 and which is the RHS so it is verified now look at here this will keep as it is this as it is minus 2 is going to be plus 2 so now let us keep this first as it is so 1.5 plus 2 1.5 plus 2 means 2.0 so that is going to be 3.5 so now this 5x will be as it is and this you are going to take on this side. So 3.5 into 7 it is going to get. So here this x is going to be 3.5 into 7 and this is going to get divided 5. So 5 ones are 5 0 0.7s are because that is 3.5. So 0 0.7 into 7 that is going to be 4.9. So you got a value of x is 4.9. So now you are going to take the left hand side. So this is the left hand side. Just in place of this x just put here 4.9. So what will be 7 ones are 7, this will be 0 0.7. So when you multiply this into this, that is going to be 3.5 minus 2. So 3.5 minus 2 point, that will be 0. So that will be 1.5. And this is 1.5, which is the RHS. So that is proved. Now look at here, this into this and this into this. So what is that going to be? 8x minus 20 plus 17 as it is, is equal to 29. So now let us take this 8x on this side, keep on the same side, this is the same. If you take here minus 20 on the other side, that is going to be plus 20, plus 17 is going to be minus 17. So when you solve this part, so this is going to be 49 and minus 17, so that is going to be 32. So x is 32 by 8, so that is going to be 4, so x is 4. So now take the left hand side. So here will be 4. Here this will be 4 minus 5 plus 17. So this will be 8. 8 minus 5 plus 17. So this will be 3 plus 17. So 12 plus 17 that will be 29 which is the right hand side. So that is verified. Now this is the left hand side. So what will you do? You are going to expand it. 15a minus 6 plus 10a plus 20. So this is what is written here is equal to 4. So now let us bring the like terms together 15a plus 10a that is together. This is already on its place right side. Minus 6 goes on the other side that will be plus 6. Plus 20 will be minus 20. So when you add this one 15 plus 10 that is going to be 25. When you solve this one this will be 10. 10 minus 20 plus 10 minus 20. That will be minus 10. So a is going to be 
minus 10. This is multiplication, so this is going to get divided. That will be divided by 5, 25. So this also, when you divide this one, this also goes with 5, and this also goes with 5. So that is going to be 2 by 5, but the sign is minus, so minus 2 by 5. So now take the left-hand side. So in place of A, you are going to write a minus 2 by 5, 2 by 5. So now what will you do here? 3 as it is. So 5 and 5 gets cancelled. Plus 5, 2 here. Here it will be minus 2 by 5 plus 4. So 3 into this will be minus 2 plus minus 2 plus 5 that will be here. Minus 4 by 5 plus 4. So what is that going to be? 3 into minus 4 plus 5 into this will be, now what will you do? You are going to take the, because here it, th this is 5 and here is just 1. So you are going to take the LCM that is going to be 5. So what is that going to be? Minus 4 plus, this will be 20. So minus 4 plus 20 divided by LCM is 5. So now this will be minus 12 plus 5 as it is. And this is going to be plus 20 minus 4. So that is going to be plus 16. So this will be 16 divided by 5. So now this and this gets cancelled because this is multiplication here. So minus 12 plus 16 plus 16 minus 12. So that is going to be plus 4. So this is the right hand side. 4 is the right hand side. So that is verified. Now look at here. Now you can see this the denominators are different. So you have to take the LCM. So now the LCM for this will be 6. So you are going to divide this, um, multiply this by 3, and this you are going to multiply by 2. So since you have multiplied this by 3, so the numerator also should be multiplied by 3. So instead of writing here, I wrote it here. So you can also write it here. Now this is multiplied by 2, so this also is multiplied by 2. So now what will you do is equal to 26, rest is the same. So now you are going to expand it, 9x plus 3 plus 4x plus 10. So this is what I've written, divided by 6 because that is the LCM. Instead of writing for this divide by 6 and again this for divide by 6, you can also write it once. Both ways you can write, you can also write like this. For this separately, 9x plus 3 divided by 6 plus 4x plus 10 divided by 6. And then in the next step, you can write this one. Both is the same. Is equal to 26. So now you will bring the like terms together. That will be 13x. And this is plus 13. So now the numerator will keep as it is this 26. This 6 will take on this side. So this is going to get multiplied. So now same 26 into 6. That is going to be 156. So now this x on one side 156. And this is going to be. This plus 13 is going to be minus 13. So what will you get right here? When you subtract this, you get 143. So x will be 143 divided by 13. So when you divide this one, 13 ones are 13. And again, this is going to be 13 ones are 13. So the x is 11. So now we got x is 11. Now we'll take the left hand side, sorry, this one, without taking the LCM, the original one. So this is here. In place of this x, you will put here 11. The rest all is the same. So now here, this is 33 plus 1, that is 33 plus 1. Here this 22 plus 5, that is 22 plus 5, and the denominator is the same. So now this will be 34 by 2, plus here 27 by 3. Now you can see the denominator is different here. So now again, the LCM is 6. So this should be multiplied by 3, and this should be multiplied by to see the numerator also should be multiplied by the same number. So when you multiply this one, you get 102. Here you get 54 and divided by 6 because that is the LCM. When you add, that is 156, the same. So 6 ones are 626. So if you don't know, you can do it like this way. 6 twos are 12. And this is 36. 6 six are 36. So that is 26. So that is the RHS. Can you see here? This is 26. So that is verified. Now here, this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side. Now you can see three numbers and these all are different. 
because so what will you do here you will take the lcm of this one so here will be two three is a and this three and this three are sorry this nine and this three as it is and then you will write here three ones are three threes are and three ones are so now three ones are so what is that lcm here three threes are nine nine twos are 18 these are the factors so 18 is the lcm so if you don't know this, you can also do by taking the single numbers. You will take the factors. So now 18 is the LCM. So now here you need, this is three, you need six extra. You have to multiply it by six. So this also should be multiplied by six. Here you need nine is already here. So multiply by two. So this also should be multiplied by two. Here we have six. So six into three is 18. So multiply by three or also by three. The right hand side will keep as it is. Now, so this is going to be 6a minus here 4a, and this is going to be plus 15a. So this is here and divided by 18 right, because that is the LCM. Right hand side the same. So now what will you do here? 6a minus 4a means that is going to be 2a. That will be plus 2a because this is a bigger number, plus 15a. So that is going to be 17a plus 17a divided by 18 is 34 by 9. So now 17a, let us keep as it is, this 34 by 9, and this will go here, that will get multiplied. So the multiplied means it will be in the numerator, that will be 18. So 9 ones are, 9 twos are. So this is going to be 34 into 2, that will be 68. So 17a is equal to 68. So a is going to be 68 divided by 17. So if you know 17 times table, directly you can do it. 17 fours are is 68. So a is 4. So now what will you do? Putting You will put the value of this one in first LHS, A as 4. So wherever you see A, you are just going to put 4. Rest all is the same. So this will be 4 by 3. This is going to be minus 8 by 9. And this will be 20 by 6. Again, for this one, we are already done. And we got the LCM for these three numbers as 18. So we need not do it again. So here you need 3, 6, uh, here you need 9 twos are and here you need 6 threes are. Same thing, whatever is there, that should be in the numerator. Don't forget to write in the numerator the same number. You have to multiply by the same. So this is going to be 24 minus 16 plus 60. That is here divided by 18. So here 24 minus 16, that is going to be 8 plus 8. Plus 8 plus 60, that is going to be plus 68. So 68 divided by 18. So now this goes with 2. Both of them goes with 2, 68 by 18 divided by 2. This also should be divided by 2. So that is going to be 34 by 9. So 34 by 9. So now what you can see here, this right hand side is 34 by 9. So that is verified. So by this one, we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of the other parts. Thank you.